First, though, we're counting down to a historic mission on Mars. In just a few hours, NASA's rover Perseverance is set to land on the red planet. A lot of excitement here. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Warmoth. And I'm Bridget Ellison. News 6's James Sparvero joins us live from the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, where people are gathering for part of the watch party. And what's it like out there? Well, that watch party, Justin and Bridget, it starts at 2 o'clock, and you'll see back there the Atlantis Space Shuttle exhibit on their north lawn. So that's right over my shoulder that way. You might be able to see the big screen, which they're going to stream NASA's coverage. The seven minutes of terror, we've been talking about it so much, considered the most difficult part of the most difficult Mars mission. I want to roll through the NASA animation for you and show you what that timeline will look like. So we expect Perseverance to touch down at 3.55. So starting at 3.48, that's when the spaceship with the rover hits Mars atmosphere. A minute later, it's the peak heating, 2,400 degrees. It's hotter than lava. Three minutes later, a 70-foot parachute deploys. That same time frame at 3.52, you also have the heat shield separation. That's just 20 seconds after the parachute. And then at 354, Perseverance separates from a protective back shell and its parachute. And then, if all of these events, and there's hundreds of events within these couple of things I'm telling you about, if they all go according to plan and if the timing's just right, Perseverance touches down at 355 in what NASA calls the Jezero Crater, the most difficult landing site of any NASA rover before. Listen more on the importance of the mission, searching for signs of ancient life, and also the difficulty today. Perseverance is taking our next step in exploration of Mars, especially addressing the question about whether life ever existed elsewhere uh, in the universe. Landing is the most critical and dangerous part of the mission. Um, we just can't guarantee success. Which I think makes this even more exciting, Justin and Bridget, because it gets your nerves really going. We want this to be successful. We're here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. We're going to join the guests at about 2 o'clock, and our new 6 and Click Orlando coverage will start at about 3.50. We'll be in the 7 minutes of terror. Join us then. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new 6. Looking forward to it. Thank you, James. Of course, you can watch NASA's rover land on Mars live right here on News 6 at 3.55, just before News 6 at 4, and on our website, clickorlando.com.